Before I get into today's video, remember to follow me on Twitter. So my Twitter, the link is in the description below. You can also find me. My handle is at Jackson Kruger. Come over, say hi. And anyways, back to your regularly scheduled video. I wanted to do a video talking about Max Crosby. He's someone who, you know, just seems like every year is getting better and really kind of took the leap this past year into proving he is not just a good player, but a great one. So let's get into the film and let's start things off with this play. This is from week one going up one-on-one -on -one against a right tackle, and watch what he's going to do here. Right off the bat, you notice how far over that right tackle gets to the outside. I feel Crosby does a great job at, you know, kind of selling the speed rush to get tackles out of position so we can try an inside move. That's something he does frequently, and it works. It's, you know, he does it because it's effective. It makes sense. Obviously, there are some, uh, you know, downsides to this. It can potentially cause you to give up containment if you're not careful, which you do have to be careful against Lamar Jackson. He's not someone you want to lose containment on. However, the upside is clear. You see how there could be a lane in between the tackle and the guard that he can run through, and that's what he's going to try and do, basically. Just kind of run almost through the tackle, but get to the tackle's left side of his body, which can allow him to still not give up the containment while making sure that he can create some pressure on Lamar Jackson. Watch, as you see, that's going to be exactly what he does. Jackson gets rid of the football right before Crosby gets there, but still, very good play by Crosby, and these are the kind of things he does consistently. And obviously, with edge rushers, consistency matters a lot. It's sometimes less about, uh, you know, do you get pressure or are your impressive plays impressive? It's more about how often are you getting pressure and he gets pressure often. You also have something like this where it's kind of that mixed with this is what really makes Crosby great. So you can get the inside move, but he can also beat you to the outside. And this is going to be an example of him doing that, right? When this play begins, he can kind of, you know, fake as though he's going to the inside to freeze that tackle a little bit. Look, you see 78 there. He's not exactly sure what's happening. And now if Crosby with his right foot, planted this can kind of allow him to propel himself to the outside as you see he then pulls off the swipe move barely gets touched and does get to Lamar Jackson for the sack Jackson almost uh you know stayed on his feet thought he did somehow uh but you know listen uh a tough guy to tackle I'm not going to hold that against anybody the fact that you tackled him at all is impressive you also have something like this where what's going to happen here is we're now going over to the game against Denver kind of same thing going up one-on-one -on -one against a left tackle this time and watch what's going to happen right when this play begins you do see Crosby again fakes those going to the outside but then you see that you saw that right you know that quick bolt to get to the inside and now you see where the tackle is positioned that's why I wanted to pause it right here you see how far over he is his body is towards the outside because of Crosby's fake he just gets you a little bit out of position then when he does create that contact he's able to get just right through to Bridgewater for the sack right there so it's that quick footwork that allows him to kind of set everything else up and he just he has so many different ways to beat you it feels like he understands the the mental aspect of the game on top of all of this you know, on top of being such a great athlete. So all of that stuff works out really well. Like this play is an example of that, where what's going to happen is right off the bat, it's going to be a tight end blocking him, which you might say, oh, well, then he should be able to win. No problem. This is a great situation. Well, no, it is not just a tight end blocking him. Tight end's going to start off blocking Crosby, and then eventually he will run his route, and the tackle will then finish up the block. That's uh, what you call a chip, right? When this play begins, you notice that the you know, tight end really uh, blocked him a while, which kind of gets Crosby seemingly out of position, but Crosby notices something. And I love when edge rushers do this. You don't have to go to the edge just because edge is in your name. If you have a straight shot to the quarterback, that's something different due to a unique scenario like what happened here. Well, take it. There's a straight shot to Teddy Bridgewater in between the right guard and center. So take that instead of running directly into the tackle who will potentially block you. Crosby does notice it there, gets there quickly. And then, I mean, poor Teddy Bridgewater. I mean, that, that hit was tough. So just a, you know, very good play from uh, Max Crosby, I thought. And finally, one last play I wanted to talk about. What's going to happen here? This is a fascinating play. I'm going to actually try to see if you can guess what's happening right here so you see where he is on the field okay there is going to be a tight end in the game but the tight end is not blocking the halfback is not blocking it's a one-on-one -on -one matchup against the tackle so for Crosby 
Guess what he's doing? Guess what move he's going to be pulling off right here? Right off the bat, you see him and you're probably thinking, oh, okay, uh, I got it. Nice try there, Jackson. He's faking as though he's going to the right, but he's about to go towards his left. That's that's not that crazy of a fake. But now you're thinking, wait a second, that seems too simple. If I set it up the way I did, there's got to be something else there. So is Crosby actually going to, you know, fake as though he's going to the left, but then still pull off an inside move? No, neither of those are true. Crosby is not going to go near the tackle. That's not what he is doing on this play. This is what you call a stunt. You see that gap right there, the one that he ran through last time? Well, that's what he's going to do again. This time by design, last time was sort of just something that presented it itself. But this is basically how this play works is you have an interior defensive lineman run to try and clear out the right guard, which worked, and then you simply just have your edge rusher swing all the way over. This play concept itself is something every team does. But the way Crosby did it, of kind of faking as though he's going to the right, now I'm making it look like he's going to go to the left, but he's not even actually going to be going towards the tackle at all. He's just fully selling a move. That little subtle move, I think, is really brilliant and something that I think more guys should do. Very smart, intelligent play by Max Crosby. And as you see, he then does swing over. He is going to get to Bridgewater for a sack. So really just, again... Doing the little things, that's what you want out of an edge rusher, and that's a great example of an edge rusher, just doing the little things, and if you do the little things, big things will happen. It really is fascinating Max Crosby's growth these past couple of years. As I said, he's consistently gotten better year in and year out, and when I say growth, sometimes I mean literally because he's gotten bigger. He's physically just added more weight, which I think has helped him in a lot of ways. He's always been a good technician. He's always been someone who can use his hands, very well, and it's always been a clear aspect that has been positive about his game. I remember uh, during Hard Knocks, if you remember this one, his yeah, I believe he broke his wrist or he broke something th that resulted in he had to get a cast for a few weeks, and people were saying kind of he can use it as a club, but the issue is like, sure, you can do that, but he uses his hands so well, I think he would rather just use his hands. Uh, well, now he's been able to continue to do all that good stuff while just being a tougher guy to move around, and he still is someone who is, uh, you know, uh, quick like he can move well for his size which is obviously another clear benefit that you want to have so when you add on the again uh you know i think that he can he's very very smart player i don't want to do the stereotypical thing of saying you know white edge rusher smart player high motor but he is a smart player who has a high motor that's that is true uh and he also is someone who again uh just incredible athlete the way he can move at his size just it's such a great combination that that's kind of what i think what do you guys think let me know in the comments below what are your thoughts on max crosby i'm sure raiders nation will be in the comments telling me their thoughts on max crosby let me know yours always love hearing from you and of course as always thanks for watching <laughs>